first day in pads. Talk a little bit about that transition and getting back to the live work. It feels so great. You know, everybody back out here popping the pads a little bit. It's always good to let the guys get physical and get some competition going, so it felt great. How does it feel now as you start moving into now it gets serious, you're, you're past the walkthrough stage, as far as taking command of the huddle and everything else, and in terms of your uh, comfort level with the offense? Yeah, no, I mean, it's definitely a big deal. We got to get everything right. We got a lot of new stuff that's gone in. But we did a lot of walkthroughs, a lot of meetings, so I feel extremely comfortable. We just got to take control of the offense and get everything on the right path. Got a lot of new faces on the offensive line, but it looks like that group's got a ton of potential. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got some studs in the offensive line. They're young, but, hey, they've been practicing hard, and they're getting after it. We got, we got some big-time players up there. Obviously, Jeremy only had the experience of getting six spring practices in. Uh, in terms of trying to help him bring him along with the playbook and the offense, how's that going? It's going good. You know, I think I think all the meetings we've done, I think Coach Bolton's done a great job getting all of us prepared. We put a lot of new stuff in with the new offensive coordinator and Coach Beat going to Blaze. We put a whole lot of new stuff in. So, I mean, we coaches have been working together to get everything done right and get everything perfected, really. Talk about where you at in terms of obviously your spring was cut short a little bit. First day in pads today. Talk about what it was like now the transition with the pads popping. Uh, it wasn't. Uh, it was a pretty good transition actually. Um, we got a couple days of shows before shows and actually warm up, but uh, it was nice being able to get the full pads, uh, get the pads popping again, seeing everybody fly around go full speed. And, uh, uh, it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good day so far. What has been your biggest transition from junior college to this level? Um, it would have to be the playbook. Just. Uh, trying to get the different language down, different terminology down, uh, trying to figure out how Coach V likes to call things, how he likes to see uh, his vision for how the offense should look. So that's been really, really hard to say. Talk about the chemistry in that quarterback room, too, because it's a little bit different. Obviously, Colby's been around for a couple years. You're a transfer, and you got two freshmen in there and, and a couple walk-ons. Uh, it's, it's actually pretty good uh, chemistry so far. We all understand that you know we're all just trying to come in each and every day, uh, get better and better. And I mean, it's pushing each other, and we understand the con, uh, the competition aspect of it all. And uh, there really isn't any bad blood. Everyone should try to come out and get better, and like the best we could. What was it like today? Pretty good. I thought the guys moved around pretty good. The weather was awesome. And uh, it's got a lot of stuff to work on. Still missing assignments and stuff. But I thought the effort was good, and uh, got to get better and more. And in terms of getting ready for that first scrimmage on Saturday, what do you want to look from in terms of what you'd like to accomplish? We just try to get our stuff in you know, offensively, defensively, and special teams wise. It takes a while to get everything in. And so that's what we're trying to do right now. And, uh, hopefully, we'll have enough recent scrimmage. Obviously, a lot of attention on that quarterback position without Caleb Evans, who started in that spot for three years. Talk about the competition and the fact that those two guys, really, Colby and Jeremy, are trying to help each other along right now. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a. Uh, it's friendly, but I mean they're competing, and uh, you know they're trying to uh, to get better. But you know right now we're running five guys, you know, so there's limited reps. And you know after the first scrimmage we may narrow it down a little bit, then after the second scrimmage really narrow it down to two guys getting the reps. But you know when you're trying to force the practice, five different guys are all getting reps. Uh, they're limited at times. Sometimes that first practice and full pads, guys swim a little bit in terms of they almost kind of forget what they do because it's so different. The, the speed was ramped up a little bit. How do you think they did today in terms of making that transition? I thought they did good. Uh, you know, we did a little bit more team emphasis today, and they seemed excited about being out here. So, uh, you know, just a lot of mistakes offensively. I know that, and uh, I have to get them corrected.